No, as a collector, you end up in funny situations every now and again. And I recently got um, the Arrow Academy uh, Shoha Imamura set, which came with The Ballad of Narayama, which is a great movie because it's, I've seen it before. As it also happens to be number 24 in the Masters of Cinema collection. And I have two copies of the movie. Now, the Masters of Cinema co uh, copy comes with a, a different booklet and some different extras uh, than this one so I'm probably going to keep both of these at the moment and this one kind of belongs within the set but The Ballad of Narayama is an absolutely wonderful movie um, and it's all based around uh, this small village that's at the base of a mountain, uh, Narayama mountain and it's about a family. We're following the kind of uh, matriarchal figure who is about to turn 70 and when people turn 70 in this uh, town they climb up to the mountain to die to not be a burden on their family and what we have here is the main part of the family Orin who uh, is about to turn 70 but she feels like she's got a lot of life in her she doesn't feel like uh, it's someone that should be going to her death she's holding this family together she's making sure that everybody is, is, is going to be in a good place when she goes. She feels like she's had her time. And it's fun watching her trying to almost force herself uh, into being viewed on as older uh, than what she is. We get the, the sort of head, uh, next person of the family, the sort of male counterpart, Tatsui, who his wife has died. Uh, he's possibly going to get another bride from another village. They're struggling to just feed the people within the family themselves. And there's a couple of other brothers as well. One who's a little bit wayward uh, with the women and the other one who is particularly smelly and can't get anybody to hang around with them or get a partner in any way, shape or form. And we basically follow this village and how they survive, just how they make things work for themselves. They've got this harsh winters and they're trying to gather food to make sure everything's okay and they're going to be fine throughout the, the, the next winter to the next spring and they can start to uh, grow things again. And just seeing some of the wonderful locations, uh, the cinematography of how they're living their life, the, the muted browns of the ground, uh, the clean, crisp uh, mountain shots that we get later on, the characters going about and having their conversations. It's very fun and carefree. There are moments that just take your breath away in this movie. There is a, a particularly shocking moment and no matter how many times I see this, I always find it truly shocking where the townspeople have discovered that one of the families have been hoarding food, getting it before everybody else and kind of stashing it away. And of course, there's a little bit of retribution as they kind of catch them, raid their house and get all the food that they've taken. But they can't leave it like that. There's a loss of trust there between the community and they decide in one of the most truly horrible sequences I've ever seen to get rid of the family. Now, I wouldn't ruin how it happens, eh, but man, is it so quick and vicious and, and shocking that... Uh, it took me several minutes after it to recover from what I've seen and it's still one of those lasting images that sticks with me. The Ballad of Narayama is, is a wonderful tale of a family looking to pass on their generational knowledge, uh, looking to just survive and make sure that the family is, is working as best as it can to deal with any foibles before that, that matriarchal figure leaves to bring in a new one to look after the family, to deal with their relationships and how they go on, uh, to deal with the relationships of the families within this community as well. It, it looks stunning and it's directed masterfully by Imamura. And I love a lot of the kind of humour that's injected into this movie as well. Things that, that, that are squeamishly funny, like the moment with Orin uh, and her teeth, as she discovers that she has strong teeth, still has all her own teeth, but to someone her age, she feels that that shouldn't happen. And watching her trying to smash them out is wince-inducing and uh, kind of funny at the same time, as when she accomplishes that, she is oh so happy. The, the sub-stories as well with the brothers are really interesting. 
whether it be um, the, the, the one who finds a relationship but then loses it uh, rather dramatically, whether it be uh, the patriarchal figure of the family who is given a new bride who must now take over the role of Orin, or whether it be the rather um, unhygienic brother who finally, finally gets what he uh, wants at one point and it's ridiculously funny. This is a, a, a really interesting film. Now, if it's not, doesn't sound like the kind of thing you'd be interested in, I think you would. I think it's a really kind of fun movie. It has moments of drama, of humour, of horror. It has some just interesting facets, some ridiculously over-the-top moments and just some laugh-out-loud moments as well. The Ballad of Nariyama is an absolute stunning film beautifully made, expertly directed with a cast of characters that I really, really enjoyed spending time with. So much more than this. If, you, if you're on the fence about watching it, I would strongly suggest that you check it out. I think it's really great. I'd love to know your opinion of The Ballad of Nariyama. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.